What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It has been a while since I've uploaded. It's been two, three months, you know, I kind of disappeared for a little bit, but I'm back now. You know, the last video I did was on Tercastron, which is really good. You know, thank you for the support. It literally means the world. Um, I got busy with school. I got busy with a couple other things. You know, YouTube wasn't really my top priority. I kind of fo started focusing more on my Instagram videos, which have been doing really well. You know, it means the world. You know, the Instagram has been blowing up recently. I'm about to hit... 8,300 followers, you know, it means literally the world. Um, speaking of Instagram, that is why I'm making this video, you know, I posted a video by my feet and fingers, you know, it kind of blew up, it has like 3.4 million views, and a lot of people have been commenting, asking what happened to me, so I was like, you know, why not make a YouTube video instead of making like a 60 second clip and post on Instagram, you know, make a YouTube video, you know, reach out to a lot of people, let them know what actually happened to me, how I lost my fingers, how I lost my feet, and yeah, so let's get into it. Alright everyone, now let's get into the details on why you really clicked this video because you want to know how I lost my fingers and how my fingers and feet were amputated. So I was 9 years old, I got sick with strep throat. It was February of 2012. Um, my parents took me to the hospital, they noticed I wasn't doing well, you know. So the hospital said I was fine, nothing wrong, we were just worrying. So I went back home, a week later my parents noticed I wasn't getting better, I was actually getting worse. The medicine wasn't working, nothing was working. Um, so they took me back to my primary doctor. She said that my internal organs were shutting down and I needed to be taken to the hospital. So my dad took me to the hospital. From the, our local hospital, I was taken f by a helicopter to a different hospital because they didn't have what I, need, like, what I needed to be taken care of. So when I arrived at the second hospital by, via chopper, um, my organs completely shut down. They put me on a ventilator. Uh, I was in basically I was in a coma for two weeks. I couldn't. My body wasn't functioning. They had no idea what was going on. Uh, turns out the strep led to a sepsis infection. You know, so my entire body began, you know, just shutting down, just completely dying. The doctors gave me a three point two chance of living, and you know they told my parents that I was going to die. They needed to prepare the funeral and everything. They they, they basically thought I wasn't going to make it, and you know looking at the numbers, I, I wasn't supposed to make it. Um, but yeah, my fingers, be my f full hands from here and here began turning black and my, um, feet from the, below the ankle, blood stopped flowing to it, began turning black and they were supposed to amputate them, both hands, both feet. Um, my dad told the doctors to wait and let's see what happens. Maybe it heals. Maybe we can save some of his fingers, maybe save partially his feet. And he was right. Um, they ended up healing a little bit, so they actually ended up amputating only a couple fingers on my left hand and a little bit of the tips of my right hand and both and half of each foot. Um, so yeah, that's how I lost my fingers and feet. So after I they got amputated, I was in the ICU for 30 days. Then I was taken to a rehab place. I had to get a bunch of therapy done. Uh, I was learning how to write again, eat again basically starting to live a normal life again. And it was hard. It was really difficult trying to pick up things that I was super good at doing. Like I couldn't run, I couldn't walk. I was on a wheelchair. Then I had to go to crutches and on a walker and all that stuff. And it was difficult, you know, being nine years old, uh, you know, going through that, it was hard. Um, but afterwards, you know, I got better. I got taken out of inpatient therapy. I was going to outpatient therapy. I was uh, slowly getting back to my usual self and they noticed that, um, why don't I get some sort of brace or prosthetic that helps me walk better? Because I was just walking on my bare, uh, bare feet, like with shoes on. So I decided I got prosthetics done. Um, these are actually the prosthetics I wear now. This wasn't the initial design. Uh, the initial design was just a foot, but that didn't work. So they decided to go more into of a brace type thing that leads around the support around the full leg and then it gives me more of a bounce. So I wear these in my shoes. Um, normally when I'm working out, when I'm going anywhere, when I'm walking around, in the house I don't wear them because uh, I don't need it, but to like give me balance, I wear them outside and you know, school and everything, like my daily life. All right guys, last clip cut off. I was talking about my prosthetics and from there on it just kind of cut off. So I just want to say, you know, that's how I lost my fingers and feet and you know how this simple strep throat led to this giant infection through my body, my, me almost dying, coma, body shutting down, amputations, you know, the whole nine yards, everything. You know, it's kind of crazy and you know, it is what it is. 
you know, I've been, you know, getting comments on my IG reels of people asking what happened to me and here, here is what it is, you know. I've been trying to respond to some of them, but, you know, you know, in a video, you know, it reaches to more people. It's easier than me individually responding to, like, hundreds and hundreds of comments. But, yeah, you know, a lot of people have been also been saying that I've been faking this and I'm faking not having fingers, faking not having feet. Um, you know, why would I do that? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, you know, disability is not a joke. Uh, you know, I try to make mine a joke sometimes. I try to joke with people how I can't stub my toes and how I don't have to take care of my nails because I barely have any and all that stuff. But, you know, it's not a joke. You know, a lot of people go through serious problems and a lot of people struggle with it. It leads to mental health. It leads to a lot of bad things. And I remember I was bullied as a kid when I was on the bus in elementary school. You know, people would make fun of me not having fingers and all that stuff. And, you know, it, it hurt a lot. And I remember in seventh grade, I was told by my school that I couldn't wrestle and that kind of put, I think that was a part where it kind of put like this spark and fire in me because I went home that day and I just started working, man. I just started grinding, lifting weights. I started conditioning my feet. I was like, I'm never taking no for an answer again. So that next year I came back in eighth grade, joined the wrestling team, showed them that I was able, capable of doing it. And I wrestled from eighth through 10th grade and then my feet, you know, they, it took too much of a toll on them. So I had to stop. But yeah, I just want to show people and inspire others and other kids in my situation that, you know, don't take no from an answer from anybody. If they tell you you can't do something, go out there and do it. Try to, you know, try to stand out from everyone. Try to show them that, you know, just because you're saying something and I have a disability or I have some uh, disorder or I have some problem doesn't mean that I can't do something. I'm going to go out there and do it. I'm going to do it my way. Um, I'm going to do it this way or not your way. I'm going to try to find a way around it. You know, you just want to go out there, you know, do things and, you know, try not to take no from it, no from an answer. Don't try to take no from anybody, you know. Don't take no from anyone unless you went out there and you failed. And even if you fail doing something, get up and try again. Keep trying, trying, trying. I failed so many times. I remember um, when I started lifting, I couldn't squat because my prosthetics and my feet hurting. And, I, you know, I just started conditioning my feet slowly. And recently I started squatting again. I started squatting without my prosthetics, just bare feet. And... It's just me squatting with barely any feet, actually, just half of each foot, you know. People look at me weird in the gym, and, you know, honestly, I don't care. But um, but just try to go out there and try to do things. Don't take no from anybody. And my whole purpose, the why I want to make these videos be an influencer, is because I want to show others and motivate them, other kids in my situation, or other adults and people and anybody that, you know, it's, it's cap you're capable of doing anything if you put your mind to it. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of DMs on Instagram, which I'm responding to every single DM. Um, I'm not trying to leave anybody out. I'm trying to respond to most comments, you know, like, it's a lot sometimes. Um, but, yeah, you know, this was my, this was why I wanted to make this video to show everyone how I lost my fingers and feet and, like, why I do what I do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, I hope this kind of explains to everyone that's been asking me how I lost my fingers and feet. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on so you guys are up to date when I post my next video. Who knows when that'll be, but hopefully soon because I got more free time because it's summer. You know, I don't have school, I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, you know, follow the Instagram, at sleep.fitness, send me a DM if you have any questions. I'm trying, I respond to almost everybody. Click the links in the description, you know, uh, cop program to sleep uh, Click the other links, support your boy. I'm trying to make it in this fitness industry. I'm trying to be a fitness influencer, you know, it's kind of hard, you know, everyone's trying to do it nowadays. I'm trying to stand out and do my thing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.